Julie Hassan and you're watching Everyday Dish TV. Now as some of you may know, I have a new baking mix company and I make gluten-free baking mixes called Julie's Original. And we have a white cake right now and a fudge brownie. But the great thing about the white cake mix is that you can turn it into so many different desserts, which is so much fun. And on top of it, they're non-GMO, they're gluten-free, they're vegan, they're soy-free, they're nut-free, they're just fantastic. So I'm gonna show you how to take this mix and turn it into a cinnamon sugar peach muffin, which also happens to be my son Noah's favorite dessert. So let me show you how to do it. I'm gonna start with one bag of the Julie's Original cake mix and put that in a bowl. Then we're gonna add a third of a cup of oil. And I'm using uh, organic canola oil, but you could use whatever kind of neutral oil that you wanted to use. And we have one and a half cups of soy milk. But you could also use almond milk, it would be fine, or whatever kind of non-dairy milk that you want to add. Whisk this together. Okay, now we're gonna stir in our vanilla. So I've got two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. I love using this one. Always use real vanilla, it makes a huge difference in your desserts. There. Alrighty. Now, to make it, this is the basic batter that you would do for a cake, but since we're doing muffins, I'm gonna add some peach. So I've have a fresh peach right here, a ripe peach, perfect this time of year. And I just quickly pulled the skin off of it. You could leave it on if you want, but I like it off. And pull out the pit, and then I slice it into slices, like so. And then, sometimes I'll do that too. So I'll stir that in, do it for the rest of the peach. This part goes really fast. And if you like a lot of peach, you could even add a little bit more. You could do like another half of peach. Okay, so we've got that. We're gonna stir that together. So that is our batter, which I'm gonna set right over here. And then we're gonna do the cinnamon sugar. So the cinnamon sugar, I have a quarter of a cup of coarse sugar, so just a coarse organic sugar. And I have got a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I really like the Vietnamese cinnamon, and I usually just get it at Costco, so it's really easy to find. But it's got a nice, strong um, cinnamon-ness cinnamon to it. All right, so that's all we do. Then, I've got my lined muffin cup. I always use a scoop. This is something from our bakery days, because then all the muffins come out perfect. So I can just scoop the batter right in and you want them pretty full on these. You could make them smaller if you wanted to, but I, I like like a big rise and a big nice muffin top on there. Like so. Okay, we've got the last muffin here. Put a little bit more there, and then now what we're gonna do Let's do the cinnamon sugar. And you'll notice I have 14, so our mix makes 14 muffins, which is a lot of muffins. So then you just go through and you start sprinkling some cinnamon sugar on the top of each muffin, which will give it a really nice crackly top. All right, and the last muffin, there we go. So at this point now, what you wanna do is you wanna bake it in a preheated 350 degree oven but because it is so hot right now in Portland and it's just too hot to turn on the oven, I'm gonna bake mine outside. See you in a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and bake these now in this outer oven from Pacific Living, because not only does it do pizzas, which I bake my pizzas in, but it also does casseroles, you can bake breads, you can bake muffins, anything in it. And it's perfect in this heat right now that we have in Portland. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake these in here. But remember, you can bake them in a 350 oven. All right, I think they're ready. They usually take about 25 to 35 minutes, but it really depends on the oven, and you know, there might be a few more variables doing something like this, too. Oh, those look great. 
Look at these muffins. They get this great crackly top from the coarse sugar on top. And you can tell that they're done when, you know, they're firm to the touch. You can also put a tester in too. But um, those look beautiful. And now all you have to do is eat them. So thanks so much for joining me. And for this recipe and many, many other fabulous recipes, please visit everydaydish.tv. And uh, if you get the opportunity to make these peach muffins, do, because they're so good and peaches are only, you know, we only get them for a short time in the summer. So enjoy, thanks so much for joining me.